All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man, Grill. Hey, I'm going to try to make this straight to the point and quick. All right. A lot of people have been out here talking about why they're not getting signings. Um, they're not getting signings. They think signings are slow. Uh, they're just not out there that refinances. Um, last month, I got 60 signings. The month before, I got probably 58 or 59, somewhere around there, maybe 57, but somewhere in the high 50s um i'll be straight with you <clears throat> to me it hasn't slowed down it has not slowed down the orders are out there the question is are you seeing them and if you're not then the question then the other question is why aren't you seeing them have you been blacklisted have you um done something somewhere within the process are you being lumped in with other pandemic notaries um are you, is it a guilt by association? You know, um, is there something that's going down with the person who you took training from that they're not, you know, that these signing companies may not be filling them. Okay. They are looking at them and like, ah, because people who have taken that training may be doing stuff that is not copacetic with certain companies. It might be cool with this company or these companies, but it ain't cool with that company. So there's a lot of different variables. Your profile, if your profile is weak, I keep telling y'all, look at the the um, video, um, your profile will separate you from them. That video lays it out. I don't know why people don't want to look at that video, but I keep, um, hold on one second. um i keep let's see here let me share this with y'all sorry about that y'all do 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 i meant to have this pulled up but i didn't okay this video here hey that looks like me your profile will separate you from them you need to look at this here video okay you need to look at this video and i give you you know and then if you go over to um ch -ch 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 -ch, and I think, yeah, go over to the community tab and inside of the community tab down here, if you do a search, your profile. Um, oh, I had it in here somewhere. Well, somewhere in here is your profile will separate you from them. Um, back a while ago i mean shoot and i may just need to copy that thing and then put it back at the top oh here it is i don't know why i didn't maybe because i had it lowercase and not uppercase and everything yep there it is it was because it was i don't know why but here we go and then in here i got all of these different items so this was from five months ago okay um it's in the community tab your profile might be weak okay um things of that nature you know um one of the things and i'm gonna add this in here um explain you understand what a non-borrowing spouse is OK, that is one of the things right there, because a lot of people. They don't know that and you and, and, and you people are jacking that up. OK, so these are different things that you can point out to them. So why you're not getting signings from and I've been talking to a couple of the different signing companies, um, because as I'm learning, um, you know, I'm working with my son, trying to help him with the business. Um, 
I'm, I'm asking them if they call, I'm asking them, hey, what, what should I share with my son? What should I teach him? You know, because I know things have maybe changing or, or has changed because, um, you know, of all of these issues with the notaries. And they start sharing stuff with me. And then I ask them, what are some of the issues, some of the problems that y'all coming across? And then they share them with me. So I'm like, OK, wow, y'all are having these kind of problems. OK, cool. I understand so I need I know what I need to, to to share with my son. But a lot of these issues are stuff that I already knew and they're really just confirming. And I've talked to y'all about them before. So the main thing is people aren't following instructions. Another issue is that people are going above and beyond what they're supposed to be doing as a notary. And not every company out there wants you running your mouth about the documents. Not every company wants you to be going around trying to explain the documents even though you've been taught that by various different entities, you need to make sure that you follow your state law. And if you don't know your state law down here, then you need to make sure you understand it. Now I'm going to share some stuff with y'all from different companies that are clear on what they want us to do as notaries clear. Okay. So this first one is from, everybody's favorite <laughs> bunk sub okay bunk sub okay that's how we said <laughs> so it tells you here um and i'm gonna just share this here i haven't really looked into this that deep but what i one of the things that i take from this statement here um is that let me see if i can zoom that in a little bit more Ooh, that's a little too much all right um too fitting all right now that's a little too deep uh 215. all right there we go so notary shall act as an impartial third party and shall not profit or gain from any document or transaction requiring his or her services other than by the fee earned for such services as allowed by the stat by statute and agreed upon by the company so you're not supposed to be trying to milk them for extra money and i also take that as and i this is just my take on it that you should not be going around trying to backdoor and grab the title company and circumvent bank serve in other words you shouldn't be trying to go to the title company and saying hey you know um because you can get the title company off of certain documents and you find out who that is and then because i know people are teaching that in facebook and then you're doing that mess that facebook is saying and then you're like hey title company hey instead of you going through banks or you know you can just call me directly anytime you need a notary and they say you know what thank you and then they call banks or hey so and so just called me talking about i need to contact them directly and and circumvent you oh thank you thank you very much don't worry about that you won't see them again blacklist that's part of the reason why you're not seeing anything okay because you're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing and you're circum trying to circumvent the system and you get yourself in trouble number 10 here of the bank serve agreement that you have to sign and agree to when you are a bank serve notary it says a notary is talking to you it's talking to you saying notary as a government officer and public servant shall serve the public in an honest and fair and unbiased manner notary will give precedence to state law over the expectations of any individual or entity so that means if somebody's asking you or telling you you should be doing something as a notary if it is not in line with your state law you should not be doing it period so if somebody's telling you that you should be bumping your gums about the documents and i know a lot of people will probably give me flack about this and i'm not and i'm not advocating where you just say okay point and sign point and sign but you have to also stay in line with your state because your state guidelines say in most cases that you are not concerned about the contents of the document and you need to be mindful of what you share concerning the documents okay so if you don't have state law that supports you giving this quote unquote general description and depends on how deep this general description is then you need not to be doing that also if you're in an attorney state you you shouldn't even have to worry about saying anything about the document anyway why because 
then the, ter- the attorney's going to be there and they're going to be handling everything. So all you got to do is just sit there and sign the documents and chill. And those of you who are not in attorney states, then you have to find out how deep does your state notary commission want you to go in these documents? Just because they're loan documents doesn't mean that, oh, they are exempt from your state law. Oh, they're loan documents. As one person said to me, you know, that they are um, life changing and important documents, more important and more life changing than a will or a power of attorney. If somebody does a will or a power of attorney and all of a sudden. And if all of a sudden they are no longer here and you made a mistake on that will or power of attorney, how do you get that corrected? How do you get a will or a power of attorney corrected when the person who signed the will or power of attorney has deceased and you made an error on it? So you tell me. Is a will less important or a power of attorney less important or a living trust less important than a loan document? I'm not saying it is or isn't. I'm just saying you tell me because people are acting like because it's a loan document because you took a certification test with the NNA or some other entity that supersedes your state law and that supersedes the validity and importance of any other document that's out there. And I personally don't agree with that. I don't agree that a loan document, you know, takes this high precedence over um, all these other documents. Because if you look at the video that I had called the, um, you know, what is a notary and there's a, um, what you call it? What is it? A, a document that I um, reference in there from um the nna and in that document it clearly says do, 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 do. Now, hold on one second and that document da, da, da. that document talks about what a notary is and that we are there to notarize important documents that is what we are there so i have a video out there let me go to my playlist hopefully i got i know i got it in there so we are to man they keep bouncing this stuff around youtube keeps changing stuff man All right, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Goodness. My apologies, y'all. Okay, I got to go back. Oh, man. Yes. YouTube keep moving stuff around. Um, and I'm sitting here like, please stop moving stuff around. All right, let me... And I put stuff in playlists and then all of a sudden it's no longer there. And I'm trying to figure out what are you doing, Mr. YouTube, because I put stuff in here and then all of a sudden it just disappears on me. All right, here we go. So one of the things I have in here and I and it clearly states it um and I don't know if y'all can see that cuz it's probably a little small let me see if I can do that it says what is a notary a responsible person appointed by state government to witness the signing of important documents and administer oaths it didn't differentiate between loan documents and um, non-loan documents it said important documents okay that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to be notarizing important documents so if you're sitting here trying to differentiate and try to say that this document is more important than that document you're going to get yourself in trouble okay um you really are you're really going to get yourself into um into some mess so where's my thing at? Uh, here we go. 
All right. So let me go back to this here. Now, it also goes on and says the notary shall not give advice to the signatory. Any questions regarding the contents of the documents being executed shall be referred back to the company escrow officer or company personnel designated on the loan trans package transmittal. They give you this document called a loan um, package transmittal, and you are supposed to go there to get the contact information for whoever it is you're trying to get an answer for these people. That is what you're supposed to do in the story, okay? Especially if you're working with bank serve. But we're going to, you know, you're working with bank serve here. So we're not going to subscribe these things with anybody else because everybody's talking about they want to work with bank serve. You need to make sure you follow in bank serve's rules, okay? Bank serve's rules. There we go. Then it goes on to say the notary shall accept cashiers check other negotiable instruments all of that now here's the thing in virginia i can't because i'm not a less licensed settlement officer or agent so you say what well, bank sir said you supposed to true bank sir says i'm supposed to but they also say i am supposed my notary will give precedence to state law over expectations so they expect me to do this but my state law tells me i can't so whatever my state law says, that is what I go by in the story. My state law says that that's what I go by, period. And I've talked to bank server about that and many other companies. They're like, hey, we got it. We understand Virginia doesn't do things this way. You got it. We'll give you a separate FedEx slip or we'll, or we'll talk to them about wiring the funds. I was like, got it. No problem. So I hope you all understand that. It's clear, simple, straight to the point you are a government official public servant and you will give precedence of um to state law over what somebody else may want you to do um okay what in the world i'm sorry y'all hold on I don't understand what. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody was asking me. Okay, all right. I'm just making sure. Okay, I thought this was somebody, a notary needing help. Nope. Okay, my bad. All right. So I hope y'all understand that. You're not supposed to give advice. Okay, in the story. You that might be your personality. And I've been told by many notaries, hey, this is my personality. You know, I just feel that I should be able to to be able to give them an answer. I mean, it just doesn't seem right for me not to give them an answer. You know, I should be able to say something. You know, I need to be able to say something about these documents. And I'm like. The only thing you need to be able to say about the documents is, OK, you sign here. And make sure you date. You do your thing, stamp, and then you out. What more do you feel you need to say? If you feel you really need to get that deep into the documents, and you and most people say, well, Griff, I'm not trying to get deep into that. If you're trying to get beyond what you're commissioned to do, then to me, you're getting deep. So you're trying to get into the documents into a level that you really shouldn't be and that you're not being asked to be doing by the person who's paying you. Then why don't you become a loan officer? Be a loan officer and then you can say whatever you want about the documents because you know the documents. But guess what? I've had loan officers on the phone and they're like, well, I'm a little stumped on that. I don't know that one. Let me go check and find somebody. Then you have the loan officer say, okay, yeah, they had to go find somebody and we finally figured it out and this is what it means. I've had escrow officers say, okay, well, no, I'm not sure about that. Let me go research that and find out. So Everybody, you got all these people who've been playing with these documents, doing this stuff for all these years, and then you ask them a question, they're like, I don't know. So I'm like, why the notary is expected to know certain things about the document? Um, and I get it. You people are like, well, we want this to be a certain experience. We don't want you just to point and click, point and click. And I know y'all probably gonna be clipping this and sending it to every single title company out there and all this, that, and the other. But what I'm saying is this operate within the confines of what the person who's paying you 
Note what I'm saying. The person who's paying you is asking you to do in accordance with your state law. And if you can't handle that, and if that is beneath you to follow your state law and to do what the person who's paying you is asking you to do, then you need to bounce out of this business, period. So this year, da, 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 okay, I need to reduce you down a little bit. This year, plain and simple, talking about notary instructions now. Notaries must complete verification, do this, that, and the other. Please return copies of photo IDs. All parties must sign as their name appears, and the document must be signed in blue. End of story. Do what the instructions say. I've made mistakes where I did not follow the instructions. Do what the instructions say. This one here. Now, let me back up a little bit. In the beginning, let me let me come to y'all. And so, because I know people will be like, well, did you ever explain? In the beginning, I really didn't say too much about the documents because I didn't know what to say. Now, as time went by and I would have the loan officers get on the phone and answer questions that the people had. And then there will be another person who will have the same question. I may I would share, OK, well, this is what I heard the other loan, the loan officer say to somebody else. But then I was corrected by a loan officer said, well, yeah, that may have applied to them. But with us, it doesn't apply that way. Oh, then I learned, OK, so. Things are different depending on what the company is. He's like, yeah, I'm like, my apologies. He said, no, hey, no problem. Glad you called so we could clear all of that up. So that's when I realized, OK, I need to watch my mouth. I need to be careful because it could be the same document. It could it could be the exact same document, but it with this company, they operate different. So all of these different companies, and it might even be with the same title company, but with this company, he said, well, yeah, I hear, yeah, yeah, we see that a lot. But with us, we don't do it that way. We do it this way. Oh, okay, because the other company, because it's the same title. Yeah, we know it's that same title company. Well, that title company, that's that. that but we have things in, in agreement with them, and we work things out. So when it comes to this here issue, this is how we do it. And I can't remember exactly what the issue was. And I was like, understand. So everybody has something a little different here. That's what I'm learning. I said, because I'm new at this. He said, no, I get it. He said, I'm glad you called and reached out so we can make sure, the, you know, they got everything straight. They said, just call us. <coughs> in the future if you ever have another problem and all of that i said you know no problem my apologies um for saying this or for doing such and such my i'm serious i'm sorry and i still get orders from those companies and this and you know, that company and all of that so i'm sitting here like okay i gotta really be careful i gotta be mindful about what i'm saying because every situation is different so if i don't know what these different situations are then i need to just keep my mouth shut and just refer to the entities who are paying me and have them come in and do their part. And when I do that, I have no problem. Everything is like copacetic, copacetic. So now this next one here, this one is basically saying you as a notary, you are responsible for making sure that the notarial certificate that is on each document matches with what, matches with the state law with the requirements of the laws of the state in which the document is being executed if it doesn't then we they saying put a strike through my thing is i wouldn't put a strike through because you don't know whether or not that document is i mean that document let's say if it's a split signing and it's going let's say if it's for texas and i'm in virginia doing this here closing and let's say if it's a split signing i don't want to do a strike through on that you do a strike through on that and it's going back to the people in texas to do this the, that can mess things up because now the person in texas is like okay why did you strike through the, this here so i've never been taught to do that um so i personally wouldn't do that and i don't think it, there's any need to do it um at all um i i don't know why they would want you to do that um you can speculate but it says, you know, you still need to add a separate notarial page and that certificate that you add needs to meet your state requirements. It also says that the <clears throat> in the next line here um, in the middle, 
note that every case that in every case the documents requiring notarization must be physically executed in your presence so you have to be there <clears throat> to see these documents executed and signed if you're not that's not going it's not going to be valid and then it goes on to says it is your responsibility to assure the notorious certificate used on each document you notarize meet applicable state laws including witnesses and all of that and then it gave a contact number and i took that out but the bottom line is that it's telling you you as the notary you're responsible for something nobody comes to our closings trying to tell us how to do the notarizations and and none of that it is on us it is up to us to get this done so i got enough on my plate to be focused on to make sure that i'm doing my notarizations correctly and not to be worried about this document whether they understand the interest rate whether they understand as one actually three people done told me um all in different ways but talking about you know how to how the interest rate is calculated how monthly payments are calculated um reading different terms and conditions in the deed in the note and in the writers i mean all of this stuff and i'm like okay you're you're focused you're you're doing that but do you really even know how to notarize that's that's the question do you know how to notarize and everybody like, oh yeah 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 i'm good so how many have you done i ain't done none so you so you're confident that you really know how to notarize but you ain't done none but yet you're saying you're sketchy and iffy on the documents i don't know how to present the documents okay well you don't know how to but do you know how to, okay well if you know how to notarize then you're good you're good you should be good to go if you understand how to notarize. Don't worry about all that other stuff. When you first let me let me come back to y'all. Where am I thing at? The bottom line, what I'm trying to get you to understand is simply this. If you are new with this, you need to be really focused on making sure you get them documents notarized properly. Now again why notaries aren't getting orders if you're doing all of this stuff if you're not making sure that the right notarial certificate is on the document if you're not filling out the notarial certificate correctly then guess what they're not going to want to use you anymore that's uh, why would you use somebody who keeps messing up you know you wouldn't want to use anybody who keeps messing up it's that simple. So if you're doing things that are not right, sometimes, unfortunately, they will not call you and say, hey, Jerome, you made a mistake. Hey, Kevin, you made a mistake. Hey, Kylie, Amber, Shaquanda, whoever you will. You have not. You didn't do this right. Sometimes they're like, look, we don't have time for that. Hey, look, call, call Griff up. Griff. Yeah. Look, we'll pay you $50 to go out there and get these documents resigned. No problem. I'm on it that's why i've wound up doing these little you know these small orders for 25 dollars and 50 dollars while y'all sitting up here you know not all of y'all some of y'all tripping over that and sending me long dissertation um comments about it and trying to ban me off of youtube over a 25 dollar signing well you know what i wouldn't have to do a 25 dollar signing if you didn't made a mistake <laughs> it's that simple as a as couple of different companies told me, they say, hey, look, you <clears throat> our prices have been modified because in certain areas, there are some major mistakes. The, comp the, the notaries are making very bad mistakes. We need them to have certain licenses or whatever, or in certain states, they have to be title producer license and all this kind of stuff and they're like okay we pay more but they make any mistakes and every time we get a document back from these notaries not just one notary but several notaries but a lot of there's errors in them and it's like when they make a mistake then we ask them to go fix it and they're like well i don't have time to go do it or if you or if you want me to you need to pay me more money 
Now they got to go get somebody else to do it because you won't do it. And they got to pay them $50, $75. So now it's getting to the point, which I talked about in my video. These companies ain't playing with y'all. I put, I talked about this. If you, they, don't, they ain't paying for errors, you're making these mistakes. And then you want them to pay you to go back out and fix it. Notaries are doing this. I know the majority of the people on my channel are like, well, I'm not doing that. I would never do that. I get it. But there are many who are. And it's affecting you. So they are doing these things and it is affecting you. And it's like after a while, they're like, you know what? Bump this one. We're going to lower our price. We was paying 175. We're going to go down to 150. We was paying 150. We're going to go down to 110 because we got to go pay somebody to go fix what these people say they can't do or they won't go do. These are the things that are going on. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to come out and talk about that kind of stuff because it, it'll just discourage you. And, and if you know all that kind of stuff, then I'm not signing up to be a notary and paying $500 for a course. <laughs> Forget that. I will go do Uber, Grubhub, Lyft, Ship, whatever. Uh, that's what people... No, you know, they don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm so these are the things that are going on now. I'm going to let me check something here. All right. Now, again, instructions. Da -da -da -da. All right. These are companies that are on signing order, various different companies, and all of these are signing companies. OK, these are orders from different signing companies. None of these orders are direct clients. So this myth of you can't get hundred dollar orders or more from signing companies. Don't fall for that. OK, you get the money where you can. You do good work. People will pay you. So this here tells us straight up here in the red, please make sure that if there are any discrepancies that the notary, who, who are they talking about? The notary calls who the loan officer on the order sheet before leaving and also call, I guess, call this person, the loan officer, because I had to black it out, so I can't remember who it was there. The loan officer will be on the order and that person's number is such and such. So it's telling you what? contact them if there's any discrepancies not you try to figure it out yourself this here is telling you go to the signing even if you can't confirm copy of the closing package must be given to the borrower two forms of id with this company please email us if after the closing let us know if you have any questions gives you contact information there proceed to the signing even if you can't confirm what don't you understand it's telling you what to do at the top and the bottom. Get your butt up, print those documents, go to the signing, even if you can't confirm. Well, I ain't going because I need I ain't doing all that driving. Then go find you some other industry to work in. They're asking you to do this. That's what we're to do. They're going to make sure you get compensated to some degree for doing it. And you still get to deduct the 56 cents a mile for you going out there and return trip anyway. This one here is telling you about the VIP files, wear masks. This one here clearly tells you documents in the red must be printed single side and fees will be removed for files that are printed double side. If you do not understand that, if you do not want to comply with that, if you do not feel that you should, then please exit this business. It's saying must print two copies at every closing signers one to the to sign and one to give to the borrowers meaning you physically are giving it to them you are not print you are not emailing it you are not putting it on a, a zip file or i mean a, on flash drive you're not putting it on a cd you are not putting it in your google drive or in the cloud for them to download at their leisure documents must be printed on legal size paper 
unless you have a dual tray printer it cannot be cut off or it will be rejected and your fee will be reduced you must drop the same day all docs must be sent back to title in a secure envelope with extra tape they cannot receive only a portion of the documents i don't know who is sending partial documents but you need to stop you need to stop <laughs> must sign the documents as printed got that up there twice right to cancel is different <clears throat> for this company and this telling you about the addendum that needs to be signed you follow the directions all right get on through this here going forward please upload scans in um whatever i think this was signing order or, or whatever I, I forgot what it said but you upload the documents in here and files prior to shipping if scans are not provided for the required files there will be an automatic fee reduction if this is an issue please give us a call directly at dot 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 please confirm that you understood so if you have issues with scanning back prior scanning and uploading the scans prior to shipping note what it's saying let me come back to y'all for a second it's saying if you have issues with scanning uploading the scans prior to shipping so that they can review then you need to let them know you really do you need to let them know this next one it's telling you call the bar to confirm use blue ink have any questions regarding the signing include include it in your email the processor for five include in your email the processor for faster response time the notary is not allowed to reschedule closings the notary is not allowed to reschedule closing not a lot authorized so you are not authorized to make it fit your schedule we do not accept cutoff pages this will result in a decreased fee that fee that was 85 with fax backs scans required this one here customer identification us patriot act customer identification verification form which is a different form for this company requires two forms of id and it's supposed to in that document supposed to be signed by the notary second part of a split signing please reiterate to the notary that they need to print a good legible copy of the documents for signing if they are unable to do so they must not accept the signing the um, assignment please be advised we will need scan backs of docs once the signing has completed i don't know why they got help in there but they do this one here 130 dollars from a signing company is talking about the seven different issues that they're they're having documents not dropped off on time missing stamps form fax forms must be signed by both parties if necessary patriot act not being signed by the notary the hood va addendum we now there's a video that i have about that there's a video that i have called notaries are still making errors you need to look at that because i talk about the hood va addendum um how there's you know that there's supposed to be two signatures on there for each person report and certification form isn't being signed and the um report and certification the um demographics is not being filled out then the correction turnaround time they want it done in 10 to 12 hours let me come back to y'all for a second if you are working a w-2 if you are doing this full time and you and you have four or five signings to do a day then you better do your best to not have these documents jacked up because you got 10 to 12 hour turnaround time not 24 hours not 48 and you got to be on it and if you are busy <clears throat> at your job for eight out of those 10 out of those 12 hours and 10 hours and if you got signings for the majority of that time when are you going to get the corrections done so you need to work very diligently and be on point so you do not have these signings so you do not have to keep going out there trying to correct the stuff that you done messed up this one here hundred dollars 
Um, just letting you know that it's refinanced. Um, already got the documents up there. So has fax backs. This one here, just a friendly reminder, all signings required, all com completed on this date will require scan backs. If this is an issue, you need to let them know. Bottom line. Now, this one is special. This one is very special. I hid the person's name. It is, it is saying here, do not use this person in this state for their orders. They have the person's name here. I blocked it out. You do not need to see that. And I blocked out their state. Do not use this person in this state for my orders. Do not use that person in my state for my orders, in this state for my orders. You do not want to be this person. You do not want to be listed here. I don't know what they did. It doesn't matter to me because whatever they did, I promise you I'm not going to do it. It also says if there are funds due to the state of Hawaii only cash is check, dot, dot, dot. But down here, it says here, this part right here, down here, okay? Let me highlight this. All right, never mind. Please make sure the notary does not put an X next to where the borrower seller needs to sign. This could result in the documents being rejected and re-signed. What don't you understand about that? If you are a notary, new, old, or in between, and you see this, you need to follow it. Please make, please remember to print the escrow documents on the letter size. Please make sure notary can print the correct size. If not, please verify the escrow if it's okay to print on one size and verify the size. Notaries will contact me all the time saying, is it okay for me to print on all legal? Talk to the... Let me come back to y'all. I'm not trying to be funny here. And yes, I've always asked, I've said, you asked if you need help. But let's be real. If somebody gave you an order and you're confused and you're concerned about what print size you need to print on for them, what they want you to do, that's who you need to contact. Asking Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media site, or me or anybody else, what that company wants you to do doesn't make sense to me. You need to be asking them directly yourself. You really do. You need to be asking them directly yourself. If you do not, then I don't know what to say. I really don't. If you cannot take the time out and ask them yourself, Hey, what do you want? Well, I don't want them to think I don't know what's going on. Well, you don't. Ask them. Talk to them. They're not going to hurt you. Okay? Um, this one here, again, is telling you. Fees will be removed. Do not date the note. Signature only. Print on legal size paper only unless you have a dual tray printer. Documents need to be printed on single side. Your fee will be removed. Please ensure all docs are sent back to title after closing the secure envelope. They are not. They are getting a ton of missing docs. Fees will be reduced for you know if, if for packages coming back with missing docs. So that means you're not putting in all of the documents. Okay. Notaries are required to review all documents for printing errors prior to arriving. Any printing errors will result in fee you know being reduced, removed contact premium closing solutions that's who this was this was one yeah this was them dot 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 and then it goes on and talks about accepting the orders all of that okay review so forth and so on and this last one always assume that they confirmed once assigned um to the closing please contact the people introduce yourselves you're not permitted to change the closing without approval 
you had somebody's name in there this here all orders of the clients must be at a certain time signing time signing location required ids ensuring a good place to sign dot 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 ask the clients have you reviewed the final figures do you have any questions or concern if there are any questions of the current refer them back to the lender title company for answers if you hear a pause in conversation please recommend client looks over the document to be prepared to have a good experience when you arrive i'm like oh then it talks about all the different errors so forth and so on all i'm asking you to do and all they're asking you to do is follow the directions some more directions this is a little on the small side so it's talk about printing on dual trade what to do if you got a single trade just print on legal it talks about the signature affidavit must be signed on every line that, that um, every line is pre-printed. If the bar does not claim to have ever known these names, they need to write NKA or never known as notary acknowledgement. Jurat is expected to be printed. Um, print the borrower's name after the word by. Let me try to zoom in. Let me let me zoom in. It says right there. The notary acknowledgement notary is expected to print borrower's name after the word by on the acknowledgement or jurat. Again, notaries do not know that they're supposed to put the borrower's name after the word by. They're telling us what to do, telling us to strike through initial, telling us to use blue ink. This one here, um, 4506C. I mean, 4506, no changes can be made to this document, meaning you do not add the, the, the spouse's name on there. The only person signing the 4506C are, is are the persons listed on the document. If the spouse is not on the document, the spouse does not sign right there. It's telling you. That's why I'm saying notaries are doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. And if you're doing these little things, this is what's get. This is what got you kicked to the curb. This here. If legal is required, legal must be printed, even if some pages appear to be letter size. So you find out from the company, double check with them. No shrinking of pages. This one here. No editing the documents to type your notary information. Now, let me come to y'all with this one. I haven't really said a whole lot about this. <clears throat> I don't agree with this at all. And I think it's a waste of time for some notaries. Notaries are literally editing the document and putting all of their notarial information in there, typing it because they want it neat. If they didn't ask you to do that, you shouldn't be doing that. If they didn't ask you to edit the document, you should not be doing it. But notaries are doing that. They're putting dates in. They're doing all kinds of stuff. And you should not be doing that. If you can, if, if it's not whatever you want to do to the document, if you're unwilling to ask them whether you should or shouldn't, then that means you should not be doing it. It's that simple. Okay. It's that simple. I forget, forget me hit the like button, y'all. I know it's a little late in the thing. I'm about done here. This one here. Let me zoom in on that. If you do not have a dual trade printer, please print on legal. Do not shrink pages. This will cause the the county to reject the documents. There will be a deduction in the fee if you do so. This one here talks about witnesses when witnesses are required all of that this one here is um you have no authority to make decisions or give advice at the closing table double check packages for missing notes, signatures notarizations before dropping overnight make sure all notary acknowledgments are filled out properly keep closing confirmation of your records do not scan it back with the 
thing with the closing package if you fail to follow instructions your fee will be adjusted if you fail to send back the completed closing package meet the requirements all of that talks about the pay scale schedule so forth and so on what else do you need to hear multiple times is saying keep your mouth quiet don't say a bunch of stuff about the documents don't say anything about the documents refer back to the lender refer back to the title refer back refer back refer back you're going to do what you want to do it's that plain and simple as eric thomas said trying to get grown folk to change is the hardest thing in the world it is very very hard to get grown folk to change because they just said they're like no i'm gonna do it this way and we justify why we're going to do stuff even though we know we shouldn't and we want to do stuff to make ourselves feel good and we're not willing to allow what we're doing in the way we're supposed to be doing it to bring the proper satisfaction i am satisfied and happy of doing notarizations the way i'm supposed to be doing it because what i'm looking for is for this opportunity that I have to bring in the necessary revenue for my family. That makes me happy. Not the fact that I can explain something on the document or answer a question on the document. You get that kind of side. Okay, that's fine. But as you can see, if the companies are asking you not to do that, you need to abide by what they're saying. And I haven't even gotten into the serve the terms of service, the terms of service those talk about really what you can and can't do and how you're supposed to conduct yourself and all of that so you are supposed to be following these guidelines and many of us are not okay at one point in time i wasn't because it was of a lack of knowledge but as i gained knowledge i was like okay well let me go and operate in the proper way and things have been excellent for me i do not feel bad that i'm not sitting up there explaining things or breaking down things and as i've been saying for months over 90 percent of my closings the people don't even need to talk don't even have questions they're like i just want to sign so if you are a notary can you just go in there and get the document signed without feeling that you need to explain something without looking for an opportunity to explain you're not you're sitting there looking okay oh, ooh, oh, oh mm -mm. Uh oh, they reared back. They leaned back. I mean, they don't know. So let me hop in here and help them out. And you start shimmying. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is it now. And you getting all excited because you feel like you about to make yourself, you know, popular or whatever. Just go in there and do the closing. Your notary trainer, that mentor, Facebook is not paying you to do these closings. So do what the people who have hired you ask you to do. If they ask you to explain the documents, if they ask you to go into detail about the documents or whatever they tell you to say, make sure it's in line with your state law. And whether bank serve said that or not, it's still applicable because that is what we're supposed to do. I get the whole concept of don't sit there and just point and have them sign but once we're in the closing and the signer tells me all i want to just tell me where to sign who am i to force them to hear me talk about the documents or force them to hear me try to do an explanation about the documents that's what i'm trying to get y'all to understand we need to be mindful and do what we're supposed to be doing in accordance with the law I've learned that some people don't really care about that. They care more about what they would do or how they think things should be. And as I shared with one person, I said, look, how you are as a consumer should not dictate how you act as a notary, because the way you are as a consumer does not necessarily mean you're supposed to do that same thing as a notary. It's that simple. I don't know what else to say. I know that people are being blacklisted. I know that people are being 
if you if you if you're treating the seniors wrong when you're doing reverse mortgages if you're holding documents hostage if you're saying because this document was over 150 pages you need to pay me 250 dollars all of these things are getting notaries blacklisted all of these things are getting notaries to be put somewhere now one of the other things and i need to say this before we close out here you need to understand that if the company that you're dealing with blacklists you there's a great chance that other companies who have a respect for that company will also blacklist you so if you get blacklisted by griffin i'm talking about myself fictitious signing company griffin closing services because you've done some foul stuff and i'm and i have a good reputation with other signing companies and owners if they see me blacklist you there's a high chance that they're going to blacklist you also even though they never used you you need to be aware of that and this is why i keep asking y'all to separate yourselves from them communicate this stuff in your profile these companies aren't playing yes it has slowed up for you but for others it has not in order for me to have done 60 closings do you you got to think about how many signings that i did not get assigned or did i did not have a chance to respond to along with possibly 10 cancellations or yeah 10 cancellations that happened to me last month and i still got 60. even on the last day of the month i had 60 signing got canceled i was down to 59 and then i picked up another one so there are orders out there but you got to get yourself in a position to be called on there think twice about who you are associated with for is your training your training if your training was not centered on you being a good notary and just being a business person and marketing your company as a business and all of that that might not be what you need to put in your profile i'm not saying that you didn't learn anything from them i'm not saying that but at least if you're going to put it in there also communicate that you understand what to do as a notary and i've read people's profiles i look through there and look at people's profile and a lot of people's profile is real bland and it's just pumping the fact that they went and took this training course but they're not really talking about the fact that they understand how to be a notary and they know not to double side print they know not to zip drive stuff and all of that you're just saying hey pick me because i took so-and-so's course pick me because i i paid 70 dollars for an nna course and i got a million dollars insurance okay what else you got well that's it okay well that ain't good enough for us we need more we need to know that we can trust you and rely on you we need to know that if we gave you a 150 page document you're not going to sit there and ask us to pay you more money after we've already agreed upon it see that's not good business that is not good business that you have an agreement in place and then once you get the documents and the note and and they told me that many of you are waiting to the last minute when you know they can't find anybody else and then you're jacking the price up and that ain't right that ain't right so i don't want to hear all of this mess about what you need to say about the documents and all of that y'all can keep that because if you're not going to do what you're supposed to do as a notary you're mess that is what you that is what's messing it up for all of us you're more concerned about what you're saying and how prestigious you look about the documents you need to be doing this stuff correctly you need not to be sitting up here upcharging unjustifiably and if you make a mistake which you need to stop making mistakes but if you make a mistake then you need to own up to it and go deal with it and correct it and stop trying to make them pay you to fix what you jacked up and that is constantly happening and you know it because you talk you see it in the facebook groups so i ain't saying anything that you don't already know i'm just letting you know these other companies who you're trying to get orders from they now know and you got snitches in Facebook that's telling on y'all. So you take it for what it's worth. Hit me in the comments below. Like, share, tell other people so that they can get this. But you want some orders? You better start explaining that, hey, I can do this thing and I know how to do it right. 
Hey, you better call some of these companies back and apologize for jacking their stuff up and letting them know that it'll never happen again. All right. Y'all have a good one. Have a good evening, morning, afternoon. Peace.